So before we start the readings, you know that I always use the singing bowl. Um, of course, I'm going to invoke uh, my higher self, the, the Holy Spirit, our beloved universe, our beloved Mother Gaia, fairies, angels, archangels, and last but not least, my ancestors. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, clear your energy and space and mine as well. Uh, and I'm going to be invoking Archangel Uriel. So let's get started. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy to those that need it. If you are open, embrace it. Angel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And Archangel uh, Gabriel, to raise the frequency of the collective with unconditional love, peace, unity, happiness, returning to good health, abundance in any shape, way, or form, happiness, joy, and whatever else, and anything else that you want to add on, you could add on, you know, and uh, of course, uh, protection. To the highest divine power. Perfect. I just want to take a moment to send a virtual hug from my mom, Giovannina, my daughter, Bianca, and myself, all my family, my fur babies, to extend you a virtual hug. Everything's going to be okay. We're sending you love, light, peace, and protection. We love you all very much. We all do. And uh, I want to thank everybody here that, uh, again, I keep mentioning it because I, it's, you know, if it wasn't all for all of you here, I would not be here at YouTube, uh, my, my beautiful subscribers. And um, for those of you that have been with me from the beginning, um, thank you so much for uh, being with me on my journey. You've seen the changes. You've seen what I've been through. Uh, we've been through this together, hand in hand. And for those of you that came halfway or recent or new, Thank you for being here. Welcome, and um, for my for my community, my family, my soul tribe family, my friends. Thank you as well. A big thank you to all of you. And now let's get started with your readings. See you soon. Hi, Scorpio, and welcome back. Uh, as promised, this is all signs, heart to heart, soul to soul. So uh, yeah, so let's get started with that. Okay. So how does this work? Well, this could be about anybody in your life <clears throat> or someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. It's about being vulnerable with each other. And some, some people do have a hard time being vulnerable, right? So Scorpio, uh, so this could be about you giving a message to someone or someone is giving a message to you and it's all signs. Every week you will have this apart from the reading. The actual tarot reading okay so let's get started scorpio if you're dealing with a pisces what are the messages oh that's a lot of cards okay so if you're dealing with a pisces there's guilt there's gratitude they're saying trust me they're controlling i've been having weird dreams about us they have repressed emotions i just need more time they're distant I'm overcoming my fears. You are the only one who truly gets me. They have doubts. 
They're saying, I'm sorry I triggered you. They have anger and they can't walk away if you're dealing with a Pisces. If you're dealing with a Virgo Scorpio, I hope someone here can do the timestamps. It would be so helpful to help me out. Okay, it'll be easier for you guys to watch it. <laughs> I hope I'm not asking too much. <laughs> okay, if you're dealing with a Virgo, I don't want to let you down. I won't let you go. I'm ready for more than just text messages. You're excited. My karmic story is ending. You are hard to forget. And they're being honest. I am still moved by you. Anything else for Virgo? Yes. Suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. If you're dealing with a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Scorpio. They have fear. They're saying, wait for me. I'm working on myself. <clears throat> well, we have a soul recognition. I want your attention. No one else matters now. They're, they're feeling hopeful and you will always be my secret love. And my nerves get the best of me sometimes. If you're dealing with a Leo, Scorpio, a Leo, they have resentment. They're confused. They have grief. I am overthinking everything. They're compassionate. They're feeling nostalgic. They're feeling annoyed. They're apologetic. They're frustrated. And I, am, and I remember everything you said if you're dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> if you're dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio, they're nervous, they have sadness, they're passionate, they have good intentions, they're loving. You are the one. I can't stop thinking of you. They have repressing emotions. I want to be vulnerable with you. If I had only known then what I know now, if you're dealing with a Gemini. If you're dealing with a Libra, the changes are real. They're blocking. You were so unexpected. You're calm. We will be together again. Our eye contact is insane. They're daydreaming and I don't want to miss my chance with you. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Taurus, they're fantasizing. I am choosing you. I want, your, I want the future with you. I am sending you telepathic messages. I want to talk to you. I had no idea you would end up meaning so much to me. I am afraid to trust. Be patient with me, please. If you're dealing with a cancer, you're excited. You hit me out of nowhere. There's a secret. They have envy. They're cold. They're guarded. I don't care what people think anymore. You deserve more. You, sorry, you deserve more. There is joy. There's shame. And they have regret. <clears throat> Anything else for cancer? That's it for cancer. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're stressed. They're wishy-washy. Your words speak to me like no others can. You change my whole direction. They're indecisive. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. They're feeling stuck. 
and they have guilt and they're heartbroken. I want to go back in time. They're bitter and you give me so much to look forward to. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're annoyed. They're safe. They're triggered. There's passion here. They're bored. They're in denial. They're angry. And I miss you more than you know. If you're dealing with an Aries, Scorpio. If you're dealing with an Aries. This card wants to come out. You are twin flames. If you're dealing with an Aries, they're anxious. It's hard for me to explain things. I'm trying to figure things out. I don't have much cards left here. I'm making plans. This is the first time I'm missing cards, so I will have to... I regret how I handled things before. They're anxious. You are also old flames, and they're feeling nostalgic. Now, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, so I don't have any more cards left, so just give me a second here, okay? Because uh, this is the first time that this happens that I run out of cards, and I think it was... I don't know which sign that... A lot of cards came out, but that's is what uh, some some signs have out are going through more than other signs at this time. So, just give me one second here. Yeah. So I can give you Scorpio to Scorpio here. It won't take long. Please bear with me. Okay, here we go. If you are dealing with a Scorpio, so I'm just going to shuffle them a bit, okay, so that... One more time. So if we're dealing... Scorpio to Scorpio. If you're dealing with another Scorpio or this is how you're feeling, Scorpio. Resentment. Confused. I'm sending you telepathic messages. I want to talk to you. I don't want to let you down. Doubts. My nerves get the best of me. They're guarded. There's a secret here. I'm overthinking everything. There's grief. Trust me. I am working on myself. They're controlling. They're passionate. They have good intentions. I've been having weird dreams about us. I don't want to miss it. my chance with you. They're daydreaming. Our eye contact is insane. And we will be together again. So I hope that you enjoyed the all signs. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Know that you're back and I love you all. And remember, uh, we are one and we are love. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye, Scorpio.